We've shown you the 2021 schedule for Arkansas, and now we're going to give you their projected record based off of this schedule. And I want to be clear that this is not an official prediction. This is simply a projection based on the schedule and just kind of a conservative, conservative approach to grouping teams together um, and giving win probabilities. Again, not, not a, a, a prediction or anything like that. It's just kind of what you might could expect. Uh, if they do better, it's going to be a good season. If they do worse, it's going to be a bad season. In 2020, they were three and seven. I think they could do better than that. And obviously, with an all SEC schedule, you, you, three and seven. You know, three and seven would be the equivalent to what two and six in a normal year. And you win four non-conference games. That's that's going to get you a, to a bowl game. So this team, and you know, you go back to the Auburn game. They really should have won that game. This team was, I think, better than their record would suggest. Uh, we're going to project ahead here to 2021. This is the scale that we use. If the game is in white, then it's a basically a 50-50 game, 41 to 59 percent, somewhere in that range. If it's less than 10 percent, it'll be in red, 10 to 25 in orange, 26 to 40 in yellow, 60 to 74 in purple, 75 to 90 in blue. If it's more than a 90 percent chance, then it's going to be in green, and that is where we will start. I'm going to give them two two wins here. Arkansas, Pine Bluff, and Rice, I think they are clear favorites in both of these games, especially, you know, every game's not going to be the same. Arkansas, Pine Bluff's like a 99% win. Rice is closer to 90%, but they both, I think, fall into this category. And then I think Georgia Southern, you might could put in that category, but instead I'm going to put them in the blue, 75 to 90%. I think Arkansas is a clear favorite here, but they're a pretty good group of five team. So I, I, don't, I wouldn't want to overlook them. That could be a somewhat competitive game, but I do think Arkansas will be favored by double digits in that matchup. So only three easy wins. Again, this schedule is pretty tough. We look at the purple games now, games where I think Arkansas is going to be favored by about a touchdown, six, seven, eight points, somewhere in there. And, you know, there really aren't many games. They don't play Vanderbilt. They don't play South Carolina. They don't play Tennessee. But they do have Mississippi State, and I'm going to put them in this range. I, I'm hesitant to do that. I think this is close to 60%, uh, closer to 60 than 74 for sure, uh, because I think both teams are, are fairly even. But if we go back to last year and look at the fact that Arkansas won, uh, and this time they're going to play them at home, when you put all that together and the returning production for the Razorbacks, I think we can say that Arkansas will be a slight favorite, again, by about a touchdown. That's really the only game that I would put in this category. They have a bunch of 50-50 games. We're going to first go to the other side of this, though, the games where they're going to be underdogs. And we start with the orange, Georgia and Alabama. I've got them in the 10 to 25% range. I don't really see Arkansas having much of a chance. You know, if, if one of these games was at home, you might could, could see them pulling off a huge upset. But playing on the road, uh, assuming we have uh, fans full capacity, even if it's just like last year, this will be tough. That's a win on the road in, in these two games. So I think really no chance for Arkansas or a very, very small chance. And I think they will be double-digit underdogs in both of these. How about the yellow? Games where they're going to be underdogs, but only by about a touchdown. I got two of those, Texas A&M and LSU. I think these two games, uh, it's it's tough. You know, Arkansas played A&M pretty, pretty well last year, and I think – Arkansas has more coming back than A&M. So you could make an argument that this game, I, I think this is fair. I think this is fair because, again, even if you say Arkansas will be closer, they're still going to be a 6-7 point underdog more than likely. And I know this matchup has been close pretty much every year they have played in Arlington, but I, I do think A&M is the better team looking at it right now. And same thing with LSU playing, especially on the road. That's going to be a tough matchup. If LSU is as good as I think they have the potential to be, that might even be an orange game. But Arkansas has potential too. I think this could be a pretty good team. So we're going to put those games in the yellow. And then that leaves us with the 50-50 games. Texas, Ole Miss, Auburn, Missouri. All of these games I think could go either way. They're all a little bit different. You know, Texas, I think I'd probably favor the Longhorns. I think they'd be a slight favorite. Ole Miss would probably be a slight favorite. Maybe take Arkansas at home against Auburn. Maybe even Missouri at home as well. Uh, so these, again, though, are very close games, games that could go either way. And I don't think the spread's going to be more than three or four points in these matchups. So when we average all this together and we give you a projection, projection based off of these numbers, what we do is we count the blue and the green as wins, the orange and the red as losses, and then we average the rest out. 
We'll use 40% for the yellow, 50% for the white, 60% for the purple. This is kind of a formula that I came up with uh, to give you a, a rough projection. And when you do that with Arkansas, the projection, because you got a lot of 50-50 games here, the projection comes out to six and six. So not a horrible year. I think Arkansas fans would be fairly happy with that when you look at this schedule, the fact that they play Texas and Georgia, plus everyone in the SEC West. Uh, and, you know, it comes down to really seven games that could go either way. The projection would have them going three and four in those games just because you have two in the yellow, only one in the purple. That's what's going to pull that down just a little bit. So, again, the projection for Arkansas in 2021 is six and six. Do you agree? Do you disagree? Do you think they'll be better or worse? Give me your thoughts down in the comments below. And thank you for watching this video.